Hello friends. In today's class, we'll start with the first chapter of Standard Nine, that is number systems. Now we are we know the different number systems. We will just brush through the number systems we have learned earlier. We know that the set of natural numbers is denoted by n, which is nothing but one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So n is the Set of natural numbers one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Now, what is W? W is the set of whole numbers which has zero and the set of natural numbers. You should understand that along with zero, the set of natural numbers is called whole numbers. Okay. The next in the set of numbers is is integer. It is denoted by Z. Now, what does it consist of? It consists of minus and negative integers. That is minus three, minus two, minus one, so on. It has zero and positive integers like one, two, three, four. The set of integers is denoted by the symbol Z. It consists of negative integers, zero and positive integers. Zero is neither a negative integer nor a positive integer. Okay. Now we will go to the next set that is a set of rational numbers. Now what is rational numbers? It is denoted by the letter Q and it consists of fractions 1 by 2, 3 by 5, then 0.13 and all. So a number R is called a rational number if it can be written in the form P by Q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So all the numbers can be written in the form p by q. Even 0 can be written in the form p by q as 0 by 1. 25 can be written in the form p by q as 25 by 1. Minus 25 can be written as minus 25 by 1. So they become in the form of p by q. I hope you understand. So which is the largest set rational numbers. Inside that comes the integers. And within integers we have the whole numbers. And within the whole numbers we have the natural numbers. I hope you understood this. Okay. Now we will go to the next one. Rational numbers include natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Now let us consider this big circle. This is nothing but the set of rational numbers. The next one is a set of integers. The next one is a set of whole numbers. And then we have the set of natural numbers. So which is the outermost set? It is a rational number which consists of integers, whole numbers and natural numbers. Now let us see the following statements whether they are true or false. Every whole number is a natural number. It is false. Why? Because 0 is not a natural number. Okay. So every whole number is a natural number. We cannot say. But we can say that every natural number is a whole number. That we can say. Okay. Every rational number is an integer. This is false. Because 1 by 2 is not an integer. So every rational number cannot be called as an integer okay now we will go to the next type of problem find five rational numbers between 3 and 5 see in this how we can do this to get the five rational numbers the denominator must be 5 plus 6 that is let us multiply the numerator and the denominator by 6 that is 3 into 6 by 6 which is equals to 18 by 6 and 4 into 6 by 6 is equals to 24 by 6. That is we can multiply it with any number. Say like I can write 3 into 7 by 7 and 4 into 7 by 7 also I can do. It must have how much ever bigger the number is the in between numbers will be more. I hope you get it. So between 18 by 6 and 24 by 6, what are the rational numbers? They are nothing but 19 by 6, 20 by 6, 21 by 6, 22 by 6 and 23 by 
6. I hope you get it. If I multiply by 7, what I'll get? I'll get 21 by 7 and 28 by 7. So what will be the numbers between 21 by 7 and 28 by 7? 22, 23, 24, so on till 27 by 7. I hope you get it. So, you, whatever number I multiply the numerator, the same number I did multiply the denominator. This same step I will do with the other number also. I hope you get it. Then we can write the rational numbers between the two numbers. Okay. Now, find 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. What we can do is, I will multiply my 3 by 5 by 6 on the numerator and the denominator. I get 18 by 30. Similarly, I will multiply 4 by 5 with 6 on the numerator and denominator. I will get 24 by 30. That is, I am making the denominator same. Okay. So, by the 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 are... 19 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30 and 23 by 30. I hope you understood how we find rational numbers between any two given numbers. We can multiply them with any number. Then same number should be multiplied with the other number also. And the numerator and the denominator should be multiplied with the same number. Then you can write the rational numbers. Okay. Now we will go to the next topic. That is true or false. Every natural number is a whole number. This is true. Because whole numbers include natural numbers and zero. Every integer is a whole number. This is false. Because negative integers are not whole numbers. Okay. Every rational number is a whole number. False. Rational numbers like 3 by 5, 2 by 3 are not whole numbers. I hope you get it. You have to understand the number systems thoroughly. I told you the outermost circle is the rational numbers. Inside that you have the integers. Inside the integers you have the whole numbers. And the innermost circle is that of the natural numbers. So, Every rational number cannot be a whole number. Okay. Now we will go to the next step of number system. That is irrational numbers. A number yes is called irrational. If it cannot be written in the form P by Q. Where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. If we cannot write an integer or a number in the form of P by Q. Then it is called as an irrational number. For example, root 2, root 3, root 5, pi and 0 0.1011. All these are nothing but examples for irrational numbers. Okay. Now, the collection of all rational and irrational numbers are called real numbers. It is denoted by R. So, I told you the outermost circle is rational numbers. Now, we have another set of numbers that is real numbers. So, the real number consists of all rational and irrational numbers. Now, every real number has a unique point on the number line. Now, let us see how we can plot root 2 on the number line. How we can do is, we will draw a number line. In that, I will mark the point 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. Then with one unit uh, distance, that is U, I will draw a square OABC of unit size. That is, this will be one unit, this side will be one unit, this side one unit and this side one unit. Okay. Now, I will take the diagonal OB. I hope you get it. Draw a unit square. OABC. You have to draw a unit square OABC with each side unit in length. This each side of the square is of one unit. Okay. Then from the Pythagoras theorem we know that if this is 1 and 1 we know that square root of 1 plus 1 is root 2. So with OB as the center with OB with OB as the distance 
you can draw an arc that cuts the number line at P. I hope you get it. Now, with O coinciding with 0, with O as center and OB as radius, what is OB? It is root 2. With root 2 as radius, draw an arc intersecting the number line at P. So, P is the point root 2 on the number line. I hope you get it. So, first we will draw a unit square. Take the diagonal, length of the diagonal in your compass and draw an arc cutting the number line at P. I hope you get it. Okay. Now, we go to the next topic that is construction of that is how do you plot root 3 on the number line. For that, previously we had drawn root 2, isn't it? OA is unit 1 and AB is also of unit 1 length. So, OB will be of length, will be of length root 2. Then, with B as center, you have to plot a point, you have to mark 90 degrees with your compass. Mark 90 degrees with your compass and then join the points. So, you will get OB. Okay. I have got here, this is BD which is at 90 degrees which is of unit length. Okay. Then, what is this OD? What is the length OD? It is nothing but root of 2 square, uh, square uh, root, two, root 2 squared plus root 1. So, it is 2 plus 1 is equals to root 3. I hope you get it from Pythagoras theorem we have square root of 2 the whole square plus 1 square root 1 the whole square the whole into square root will be 2 plus 1 equals to square root 3 then with od as the with od as the distance what you can do is you can draw an arc with a o as center draw an arc that cuts your um, that cuts the number line at it, such a way that it cuts the number line at Q. I hope you get it. It cuts the number line at Q. So, construct BD of unit length perpendicular to OB. Then using Pythagoras theorem, square root of root 2 squared plus 1 squared is equals to root 3. So, using a compass with O as center and radius OD, Draw an arc which intersects the number line at point Q. So, this is the point Q. I hope you get it. That is nothing but root 3. This is root 2. This is we constructed earlier. On top of it, we are constructing the root 3. Okay, this is how we plot the irrational numbers. Root 2, root 3 on the number line. So, that is all for this class. Thank you.